Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to make a video about uh, how to uh, recover data from a broken cell phone. This one's been dropped one too many times, and here we put a new screen on it. Look at that. Anyway, uh, I'll show how to recover. This is a Motorola E5, and um, it's probably different for every different type of cell phone because they're all made by different manufacturers, but I'll show in general how to do it with this one. It may apply to different ones, may not. Anyway, let's get going. Okay, one technique I did find that worked on, well, first first I tested it on, I made this video on, um, oh, this uh, battery power for, or battery to power cell phones or other things. I bought it really for a camera. But um, I found that if I plugged it into a completely dead cell phone, that it would boot up because it would provi provide enough power to boot the cell phone through the USB port. Oh, where is the USB port? Mm, on this side. Okay. And so I, I figured this might work on the uh, other dead cell phone because I thought maybe it was having a problem charging the battery or uh, maybe the battery, lithium ion batteries are very sensitive to being dropped. I think there's a problem with the battery it was not holding a charge and and the screen was cracked also so uh, I'll demonstrate quickly how this thing boots up I showed this in my other video and uh, this is one option if your cell phone battery is just having a problem you might be able to buy one of these and just plug it in and it might boot up and then you can get access to your cell phone again so let me demonstrate that quickly and then we'll try it on the uh, cell phone that's broken Okay. Okay, again, this cell phone is kind of an older one. It doesn't hold the charge very well, and it will not boot up. And uh, here is our special battery guy thing. There we go. So, we'll take this battery, and we will plug it into our cell phone. And just demonstrate that, uh, get the... USB right, 50, 50, 90, right? Okay, remember, see, there we go. All the lights are on, and it boots up immediately. And so, since this technique works on this, I figured I would try it on the broken cell phone. So let's go ahead and give that a shot, okay? Okay, so, it looks like, uh, initially, and I'm going to tell you a little bit later, it stopped working, but initially I was able to get this uh, cell phone to boot up, the lights came on, it was definitely booting, um, but th there's uh, some issue that uh, the screen, the LCD is actually cracked, and so you can't really, since you have to interact with a cell phone to get the data off, with the LCD being cracked and you can't see what you're doing, it makes it very difficult to... Uh, <clears throat> actually get data off of it. So I think the next step is to uh, change the LCD, which is going to take a lot of effort to take the cell phone apart. Okay, so we'll get doing that, okay? And that would be the next step of trying to recover data from a cell phone. Very interesting, huh? Okay, it looks like it finally arrived. And let's take a look at what we got here. Okay. Oh, very cool. Oh, yep. Oh, it's this new screen for the cell phone. Let's take a look in here. It's got the connector and everything, and the liquid crystal. Very cool, huh? Oh, there's some cables and stuff. I don't want to lose them. Okay. And I think it comes with some uh, tools to help you do this. a little 
holes there. They go into that screwdriver thing. There's the tools in there and the screwdriver thing. Okay, there's a screwdriver thing. Looks like it's got different bits Ooh, for working on tiny things. before so this will be an adventure for sure okay so what is that I guess it's I don't know if there's different bits some of them look pointier maybe this one's not as pointy looks almost like yeah th this one looks like it has uh, little flutes on it like it's a little tiny allen wrench or something bunch of different tiny tools that go in that little tiny screwdriver thing. Very cool, huh? And some kind of plastic tools for prying on stuff. And I got one of these before when I tried to replace a screen for something else and it didn't work out so well. Oh, what's this? Some kind of glue or something? See that okay? Yeah, it looks like maybe here's a top for it. Okay, very cool. We'll have to see what we can do with this guy. We can fix our phone, get it working again. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Okay, so um, here we have our broken cell phone and uh, I dropped it a few too many times let's take a look at this and it will not power up anymore and so if you want to recover data from it I think the only way you can do it the screen is actually broken the LCD is broken and here is a new replacement screen with uh, LCD and uh, we're going to use a heat gun and uh, some tools here, and let's see if we can uh, have some alcohol. Let's let's uh, try to replace this screen. And uh, they're saying I'm going to use this, need this guitar pick thing to help pry the screen open. So what we're going to do is, in order to replace this, a Motorola um, E5. And in order to replace the screen, I have to take off the back. And so we have a heat gun here. And we're supposed to uh, quickly heat up the edges of this guy. Okay. And we'll see we can pry this thing apart. Oh, gosh. Hmm. I guess we need to do it more than that. The video is, oh, here, I'm able to get in, under this corner a little bit. This corner. I know I tried to change some things on a tablet before and it was not easy. It was breaking the screen more. So, I don't know. Wow. Wow. I was tearing up the guitar pick thing. It was a nightmare. 
nightmare to change these things. I said so was my experience from before. So I'm getting my. Maybe we need to heat it up a little bit more. The heat gun. Fortunately, we have more corners. I'm going to run this one into the ground first, though. Oh, come on. See, I'm trying to get in there and pry this thing apart. You can see the glue kind of coming up. Maybe. Oh, I hear it pulling away. Wow. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm just kind of using my hand like a pry bar to pry this thing out. Okay. I think it's coming off around the other edge, too. Now we're down to the bottom. Yeah. Oh. oh, those videos always look so easy oh. on the internet. But we'll see if we can do this without destroying the phone. Maybe we can recover data from it afterwards. Looks like it's glued all the way through the inside. Holy cow. Looks like there's some possibly important thing glued right to this guy. Oh yeah, look, it's tearing it apart. What the heck? See, you want to be careful with this freaking thing is attached here on the inside. Okay, so there's some ribbon cables or something attached to the inside of the shell. I don't know if you can see that. Let's take a look. We're going to hear under the light. Okay. There's ribbon cables and stuff attached in there. And I'm going to have to take a closer look at this before I yank on that or something. Make sure I don't currently destroy this thing. Okay. Let me get a closer look at that. I'll put the camera down for a second. Okay, so I'm going to guess that this this thing right here, there's, there's a couple things here. There's, a, I guess, a Touch ID uh, sensor here, which uh, is connected to a ribbon cable, which is down here so you want to be careful with that but I think this stuff right here is just some kind of um, stuff that's just hooked down there with an adhesive and so I got some tweezers here and I'll try to try to peel that away from the top carefully yeah I think it's just some kind of plastic coating or something that somehow got adhered to the top here so I'm just gonna try to carefully peel this away and then slide it down so I can oh my gosh okay I got that out of the way oh, almost oh looks like there's another piece still connected there seems to be connected around the camera port okay so there we go oh, look at that so I guess the next step is so the way we got to remove this uh, touch ID connector thing here so I'm going to need a tiny screwdriver to get in there and do that let me um, get 
this plastic stuff out of the way here. It seems like it's kind of covering up the screw a little bit. Okay. There we go. So, I believe they provided some tiny little screwdrivers so we can um, undo that screw. So I'm going to see what we got in the kit and try to undo that. Okay, so it looks like they included a bunch of tiny little screwdriver bits and some of them are hex heads and some of our other things. And I think, oh, let's see, I think this one might be a Phillips type head. Okay, that one looks like a Phillips head. And um, here's our screwdriver thing came with the kit. I don't know. Hmm. I guess it just kind of sits in there kind of loosely or something. I don't know if there's a way to lock it in. I'm not really seeing anything. This kind of spins. I don't know. I guess you jam it in there and hope for the best. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we have our bit in there and it kind of stays in place very loosely and uh, let's uh, try to undo these tiny little screws here without ripping that ribbon cable oh my gosh okay. probably want to maybe put them in a little bag so you don't lose them This one's not coming too easy. Well, maybe I will put some alcohol on it or something. There might be some glue in there. I don't know, it's not coming very easy. strip it out. I might have to put this thing down and fiddle with it because it's not coming easy at all. Pushing down pretty hard, trying to break it free. Okay, I really don't care too much if this touch connector works or not after I get done, but I don't want the phone to not boot if it has a problem with that. So let me, um, I cannot get that screw out and I think it's stripped now. You know, you always want to press hard on the screwdriver. I don't even know how you get in there. You can grab that with pliers and needle nose. So I'm going to try to maybe pry this thing up. Be careful not to damage the ribbon cable. Maybe twist it over a little bit so I can get this connector off. Because I guess you can't get into this thing. Maybe I'll just bend this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. And there is our ribbon connector under there. Now let me take a look at this. I'm going to see. I, th I think you can pry this off with tweezers. Okay. Okay, so here I have some different pair of tweezers. These are a little bit sharper. Maybe I can get in there. Without wrecking this thing too much. Let's see if I can come in from this side. Get under this little connector plug thing, pry it up. Oh, there we go. Uh, I 
Okay, hopefully I got that on film. I just got under there and pried it up. Look at that. Oh my god, how do you get that thing back on? Okay, anyway, so I just tried to get under this little metal thing here with the tweezers and pry it up. And uh, so I guess we have that removed. And now I guess the next thing is to remove these screws and this middle housing so I can take the front off. Okay. Well, we'll get to that step next. Okay, so I um, put the uh, tiny Phillips heads bit back onto this guy. And uh, I'm going to be very careful. Remember when you're undoing screws, you always want to press down really hard. To make sure they don't strip out. Make sure they turn. Oh my gosh. I always I'm doing like a torque wrench type movement, pressing down and twisting just a little bit to make sure that screw is turning and not stripping out. And okay, looks like I got the first one. And yeah, let me... Let's go through. I'm going to take all these screws out very carefully now. Make sure I don't strip any more out because, God, that'd be such a freaking nightmare to have to deal with that. Okay. Again, there, that one. Looks like that one came out. So I guess we're supposed to remove all these screws. And you know, you know how you hear those uh, torque wrenches when the uh, you know, they're working on your car, like that. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just pushing down really, really hard, and I'm just torquing it just a tiny bit, twisting it, twisting it, twisting it, until I feel it break free. So I do not want to strip out another screw. Okay, and once it's loose, let's take it out. Looks like these are pretty much all Phillips heads. So torque, 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 until I feel it, feel it break free. Press down really hard this way. That makes sure that the uh, screwdriver bit doesn't s slip off the, uh, I don't know what you call that, the flutes? I don't know, the, the hole that the uh, Phillips head goes into and tears up the metal around it. Oh gosh. So much fun. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we got that one in there. Torque, 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 torque. Oh my gosh. Phew. So far, so good. Okay, well let me let me work on these for a while and I'll get all these screws out. And oh, oh, by the way, whenever you're working on something, uh, it's always good to have a little bag or something. I, I just happen to have this from my TC Duino. Did some videos on that. Very cool, high speed pick processor. And I think I'll put the screws in here for now because I'm using the TC Duino for something else. It's not in the bag anymore that it came in. And uh, so we can. Um, not lose our screws, hopefully. Let's take a look down here. Let's see if we can just dump these out. No, nope, they're not coming out. But anyway, let me let me work on these. I'll see if I can get these out of here. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I guess you can just grab them with the tweezers, or actually, I grabbed one with my fingernails and was able to pull it out. Maybe these aren't unscrewed all the way. Make sure they're unscrewed all the way. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I'll see you can can grab them with your fingernails and pull them out if you need to. Looks like. And I'll just get the rest of these out of here. Okay. Very cool, huh? Uh, some of these screws don't seem to be coming out too well. I can't grab them with my fingernails because they're kind of down underneath. 
I found a, I get my razor blade here, my handy dandy razor blade, and get under it and flick these things out, pull them out. Hopefully I don't want to flick it someplace and lose it, but I probably don't need to stick all these screws back in anyway. I'm just trying to recover some data, and then this thing will be done for. So there we go. Oh, there's a magnet inside of this thing. Get these screws out of there with the razor blade, if nothing else. I'm still worried about that last screw. I may have to do something about this guy. I was going to try to maybe twist the shell while I try to unscrew it, or heat it up, or try some extreme things. I, maybe I'll cut it. I don't know. But uh, I'm a little bit worried about if that's holding the... Uh, case together and I won't be able to take it apart unless I get that screw out too. I think it's got a little bit stripped. But I was trying to uh, take that one out. And you see it's got a big head so it's got a lot of torque on it. That's not good. Okay, so I suspect since I wasn't able, I've been trying to get this screw off, I was not able to get this off. Uh, it could be a problem. I've been thinking I could take a Dremel tool and slice it, or um, let me let me just try. So the next step, I guess, is to take this, this plastic covering here off, and I guess you can use this guitar pick to help you pry it off. Did I not get all the screws out? I think those are just floating in there. I undid those, but I suspect. Oh, here we go. I suspect that, um, maybe I'm going to have to unscrew this one some more. Looks like it's hanging up there. I wasn't able to pull these out because they're kind of recessed. I got that in there. I may end up just breaking this plastic housing if there's no circuitry in it or something because then I might be able to get some pliers down around that other screw and try to force it off that way if it needs to come off okay this is hanging up on something seems like that screw but that screw I think it's undone. It's clicking. Okay. There's something else over here that I didn't undo. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it's hanging up in this corner over here. Hmm. Oh. Maybe that's a screw under the S thing. Let me see if I can get into that. Oh yeah, there's another screw right there. A hidden screw under that little sticker to try to trick us. Prevent us from accomplishing our goals here. There we go. Get rid of that screw. And okay, there's our battery compartment. I suspect that screw in the middle there is going to screw us. Let's see, is there any other screws in here? It seems like this is coming up very difficult. Oh, wait. There's another probably screw under this sticker up here. Get that out of the way. Careful not to strip out any more screws. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's not coming very easily. Oops. Come on. Okay, let me 
take a look at this a little bit more, see if we can figure this out. Okay. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Make sure this thing's got batteries. I'm thinking there's not electronics right under the surface of this, so if I'm very careful, let's get a... I might be able to cut a groove across the screw like so, and then use a bigger screwdriver with a lot more torque on it to uh, force this screw off. And so, let's see, maybe we can uh, try to cut this guy. Keep on sliding. Let's see if I can get this screwdriver into that groove now. It's not quite deep enough. I'm gonna have to grind a little bit more. I think I'm gonna use two hands to do this so I don't mess this up. Okay. Okay. There, we just got through grinding this thing. And here's our problem child screw here. Let's take a look up here. And I think now I get this big, bigger screwdriver. See, I got a big screwdriver here. Put a lot of torque on that screw. And uh, look at that. I think I was able to get this screw out without destroying the phone too much. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, where'd that screw go? Okay. Anyway, it's around here someplace. There we go. I think we can remove this plastic plate now. No problem. Oh, look at that. Awesome, huh? Okay, and we'll be able to go on to the next step. I don't even need to stick that screw back in, I don't think, if I don't find it. Oh, well. Okay, very cool, huh? Okay, so we have the back plate off of this guy, and um, I guess if we want to actually replace the LCD, we have to um, probably remove the battery connector and the battery, and I'm not going to do that, because, see, here's, here's our connector for our LCD, and I believe this is our connector for our LCD on here, so I'm just going to disconnect that one and hook up a new monitor, all right? Hook up our new LCD and just see if we can uh, get access to this device and because uh, we need the LCD to be able to uh, move data, do that type of stuff. You can't really interact with the device without being having access to the LCD, unfortunately. I wish there's a better way, but... So, um, I think what we're going to do is just unplug this connector and then take our new screen out and plug it in in place and we'll see if we can boot this thing up and get it running again. Okay. Let's take it up here. So again, here's our connector and it looks like it comes to the same spot as this connector right here. I believe this is the battery. Here, let's take a look here. I believe this is the LCD connector right here, and this is the battery connector, and I'm not going to disconnect the battery, I'm just going to disconnect the LCD. Okay, there we go, look at that. Oh, isn't that awesome? And then maybe we'll get our new LCD out, and see if we can hook that up in place of the old one and get this 
thing running out. I think the battery is bad also because it will not boot up under its own battery power. So, okay. There we go. And here is our new LCD. Okay. Let's see if we can just finagle this around here somehow and uh, just hook this guy up there. I don't have to. Oops. Probably. Okay. Move this guy completely out of there. That is the bad one. Let's see if we can bend him out of the way so we can get this new one. I don't want to damage the new one. Maybe I'll just tape him out of the way. Get some tape and tape him out of the way. I don't really care about that guy anymore. There's some electrical tape. Let's tape that guy down. Let's see if we can hook up our new LCD in there. And I think I'm going to put this uh, camera down. Make sure not to twist the cable too much. Not the easiest thing hooking it up under the camera like this. Okay. Oh, there we go. It popped in place. Okay. I'm just going to be careful with this guy. Maybe we'll see if we can power this thing up. Okay. Okay, so I just replaced the uh, screen on our phone that we want to try to recover data from. And here again is our battery replacement uh, battery. Let me just plug this thing in back here, like so. And, uh, oh. let's see if I can get this thing to power. So unfortunately, the power plug kind of broke, so now I have to stick a razor blade in there. See if I can get this thing to power up. Okay. Well, the battery should be on. Hmm. Okay, I'll try that again in a second. Okay, let's try this again. We got our battery, cell phone battery guy. He should be all charged up. It's so bright I can't see the LEDs. Okay. And, uh, we just, uh, Place the screen. I put some tissue in there to stop the flex cable from bending so much. And uh, let's try plugging this guy in. Oops, does it go like this? 50, 50, 90, right? And let's see if we can get this thing to start up. Oops. Again, my uh button broke off. Sometimes I can get it to start up by pushing in here. Let's see if we can get this thing to go.
me fiddle with it for a little bit, see if I can get this to work. Okay, so it appears that all of the, um, let's see, here's where the switch is, and it's got like a little bus lead that comes up over to this thing, so I was going to probe this to see if there's any voltage on it, because I think that switch is completely destroyed, uh, but there's a little, let's see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little, little Teflon tape over the top of this, so maybe I can pull that off with tweezers and try probing that. And see if there's any voltage on our on off switch. See if it's possible to turn this thing on. Okay. There. Oh. You can see the voltmeter. I have it kind of down here, kind of out of focus, but let's see if we can. Uh, probe this thing. See if there's any voltage on these pins. Let me fiddle with that. Okay, it looks like it finally arrived, and we'll see what this is. I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, okay. It's a battery. It's a battery for a cell phone. Let's see. Okay. Oh, we should be able to do some testing with this to see if, um, see if we can get our broken cell phone to work again. Should be interesting. Okay, so we're still having problems with this uh, not starting up. I'm not sure if it's because of the switch, which is really messed up here. Or uh, maybe it's the battery. Won't let it charge. Let's try to replace the battery. So here is the uh, connector for the battery. We should be able to pop that off. And then uh, this battery is in there kind of tightly. I think it's glued in. Let's see if there's a way we can... I think they use a special tool in the thing I was watching to get this battery out because it does not want to come out very easily. Oops. Oh. Here, well, here's a new battery. Let's take a look. Hmm. I don't want to poke it too much because this thing could catch on fire. That would be really bad. I'm 
Okay, I guess I can kind of get under it with the tweezers here in the corner. Pry it out. Does not want to come out very easily though. Let's see, I think I might have a screwdriver here. I can get up under it like that. Pry it out maybe. Holy cow. screwdriver here. This thing does not want to come out easily though. I think this seems to be working okay so far. Okay. Wow. This thing is really stuck in there. Looks like it's kind of peeling up the uh, some kind of foil stuff that's stuck to in there. Holy cow! This is really not easy to get off. I feel like the battery is inflating a little bit, so this is not good. Better get it out of there before it catches on fire. Holy cow. Okay. Wow, there is the battery. And there is the inside of the phone without the battery. They had some really sticky stuff to hold that down. Okay, I might try to put the new battery in there and see if I can charge it. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this thing, but I know these lithium batteries can catch on fire if they get damaged. And uh, I need to stick it someplace where it will be safe if it happens to catch on fire. Okay. Okay, so here we have the new battery, and it has a little connector here, just like the other one had. And here is our cell phone, so I guess we'll just try to get this back into position. And hopefully we can uh, snap this connector back down where the other one was. may have to be repositioned to get it up there, it looks like it's not fitting in quite right. Oh, come on, it's not going to be stuck in place now, is it? Okay. Uh, okay, wow. Okay, let's see if we can get that back on, this new connector on where that old one was. Okay, there, it popped into place. Okay, so let me try to hook this up maybe to a USB charger and try charging up the battery. Let's see if this thing acts like it's charging up. Okay, 
let it charge for a while and see what happens. Then we'll, maybe we'll put the screen back on and see if we can uh, connect to this device one more time. Okay. Okay, so fiddling around with this button finally down here, and actually I think I might have touched the contacts with these tweezers because I think the button's destroyed, so these contacts down here. Looks like we have the phone booting up with the external battery and everything. Very cool, huh? So I think we might be able to get data back off this phone. Look at that. See that? We have it booting up. And we have this uh, new screen on here. Very cool, huh? So it looks like we'll be able to recover data off of this phone finally. Ah, very cool. Look at that. Recovering data with this broken track phone. From this broken track phone.